Ooh. Situation didn't work out in your favor, did it? Things didn't go as planned. And right now you're smack dab in the middle of your feelings. And you're feeling rejected. You're feeling disappointed. Because you thought that everything was going to be perfect. You thought everything was going to be great. And then they hit you with that news. Nope. It's not for you. Nope. It's not going to work out. Nope. We chose the other person. Nope. I don't feel the same way about you that you feel about me. I want you to understand. Rejection does not mean that you're not good enough. What it means is that other person or those other people didn't see what you had to offer. They didn't see the value of you, but never forget you are valuable. And so if you want to get through this little rough patch, the first thing you need to do is accept it. Accept that it happened. Allow yourself to feel. Give yourself some time to process your emotions and release that mental and physical pain. And if all else fails, talk to your friends and family, because I promise you, they'll be able to add some additional value, some additional guidance. This is a minor setback, but you're set up for a major comeback. Second thing you need you to do is I need you to analyze. Analyze the situation, you gotta own it. Is there anything that you could have done different in this situation? Because remember, control the controllables. Some things are completely out of your control. You can't allow yourself to be feeling all stressed out and all sad and all down in the dumps. Woe is me. Never forget, sometimes it's always me. But if it's not always you, because it's something you couldn't control, make sure you understand that. That'll help you get past this situation even quicker. If they had to choose, and they had all the power in the situation, and they decided not to choose you, sometimes that's okay. I heard a wise person say, every time I thought I was being rejected from something that I thought was good, I was actually being redirected to something better. And that's exactly what's happening to you right now. The third thing I need you to do is advance, meaning move on. Understand things can and will happen that won't be in your favor, but you have to remind yourself of the greatness of you. Sometimes you have to be your number one cheerleader and say, girl, I know I can do this. Bro, I know I can do this. They missed out on the greatness of me. Positive self-affirmations. You gotta pump yourself up. Sometimes you gotta be your own personal hype man, your own personal hype woman. Because they rejected you. Because they didn't see your shine. And that's okay. You keep shining anyway. Rejection gives you more fuel. Rejection gives you more power. I know for me, when I get rejected, it pumps me up. It puts fuel in my tank. It adds a battery in my back. And that should do the same thing for you. And you never let them see you sweat. Oh, you feel some type of way for a short period of time, but you never let them see it. You keep killing them with kindness. <laughs> and then murdering them with success. Rejection can and will happen. Disappointments can and will happen. But now you got three tips on how to deal with them. So they don't manifest and they don't last for extended periods of time. Because life will happen, but I want you to know you are a star. You are phenomenal. You are amazing. You are enough. And just because they don't see it, and just because that person doesn't see it, does not mean it's not a true, does not mean it's not a fact, does not mean it's not law. You were put here to be the best version of yourself, with or without them. So keep doing you. And once you understand that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go.